Often, during production and songwriting, you may find that you need quick access to an instrument or microphone for rehearsal or writing a new part, for example. Having to go and find the track you're looking for and then input monitor it can be a real time waster. Let's look at how we can build efficient, always-on practice instruments using Logic Pro. First off, hit Command-0 to open the Environment window. Click New, Channel Strip, Input Channel Strip. In this new Input Channel Strip, go over to the Channels Inspector and select the input that corresponds with the instrument that you want to monitor. In this case, I'm using my electric guitar input. Now drag it over to the main window. As you drag, you'll see a yellow box appear and you can create a new track. This new input track can't be record enabled, but it always is on. And the nice thing about it is that when you create a new track, you can still use that input to record with. Notice here, I'm creating a new track with that exact same input. And you'll see that on this new track, I can then record enable and get a duplicate of the same signal. Now, let's make our always on software instrument track. First off, create a new software instrument. Second, select the patch or sound that you would like for it to output. I usually choose something simple and not very processor intensive. Next, head back over to the environment and select your newly created software instrument track so that it's highlighted. Go up to the layer selection, hold option, and click clicks and ports. And this will bring that object over to this new layer. Now, in the physical input object, find the output that corresponds with your physical MIDI keyboard and drag it directly to the software instrument channel strip. Take the output from the channel strip and bring it over to the input monitor. This has now created a parallel routing that lets you always trigger this particular software instrument channel strip while still being able to record MIDI from your keyboard into other channels that you create. In this example, I've created a second software instrument track and you can see that I'm triggering the original rehearsal piano even though it's not record enabled. Now, I'll load up another software instrument, record enable it, and show that MIDI is still getting through. Once you have all of the practice instruments that you need for your project, you can then name them, label them, put colors, and even put them into a summing stack so that you can control the volume and mute state of all of your practice instruments directly from your MIDI controller with one button. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, leave me a comment or let me know if you've got some ideas for other things that you'd like to learn so I can do a video on it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can check out my music on Spotify and iTunes, or if you'd like more in-depth help with logic or music production in general, head on over to my Patreon page. I post the projects and templates that I actually use in these videos. Subscribers get access. See you next time.